Hey, yo, Shalom. All praise to the Most High. Yehovah, Yehoshua. This is how some YYBY. All right, we know about the mimic, right? But sometimes we miss small little things and little details that you don't even peep. But, but the thing is, we, we've been testing mimic out, using it, tweaking it, all that type of stuff. But did you know, when you go to the back, right? Let's click on it. When you go to the back, it has shortcut, op shortcut, shortcut options that it give you to help you out. Right? Number one, say double click in the waveform to set start. Shift double click to set in. So you can go in the waveform, you know, and do that on here. Uh, it say when dragging start to end, move pointer up into slice area to snap the slices. Right? So you can snap them. So when you drag the start of the end, you know, this is part right here. You know, um, this part. Hold on, let's go to it right quick. This part right here. That's the start. This is the end. So when you drag that, you know, uh, move pointer into the slice area to snap slices. When you hold Alt Option click and you hold to audition. This is one that's dope, important that I thought we couldn't even do. I'm like, what the hell? Like, so, you know, I'm trying to try everything. So you hold Alt right here. You hold Control and Alt. Just like that, man. You, you, you can see what you're dealing with, what you're dealing with. Then on top of that, when you're auditioning things, uh, double click in slice area to add or delete slice. That's the when you double click. When you click slice marker to lock it in. Now, this is another one that's very important, man. When you when you don't use the sensitive sensitivity thing, right? Because you gotta remember the sensitivity thing is not doing it in bars like you, it's not like they, they don't give you an option where you can say you know what cut everything in one half one fourth three fourth one bar they, i wish they add that option on there even though you can't do it in the sequencer but you know you could just, if you could just drop drop it straight in here you know they should just give you the option but by not giving you that option when you use the sensitivity joint and you find the important samples that you you are using that you do like you can lock those. You can lock those by just going right here and selecting it to turn blue. Hold on, let me go back. So how do I unlock that? Okay, let me see. So if I lock it, let me see. Do I got a way to unlock it? I might have to delete it or something like that. But anyway, but let's say you 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 lock those, and you go sensitivity, and you turn sensitivity off. It keeps those right there. That's important, so you don't lose what you was already sampling, man. So you don't lose it. And then if you want to just go find some more, create some new ones, then now you can do that and and lock those and keep those. You know, so that's that's a very important feature that I didn't even I didn't even know. Like I'm like, cause I'm looking like, how can I lock these joints? I'm looking through here to see if it was an option. You know, um, let me see. Right click, reset, copy, lock. No, you you lock the device. Uh, global position, snap to slices. You got that option, snap to slices. You know, but let's keep going. Then you got another option, say, um. Control, control command, which is control on Windows, and click in the waveform display to set loop point. You can set a loop point. Then you can do shift, click the keyboard to set root note. So if you hold shift and click the keyboard, so let's let's go to there and see how that works. So I guess this is the keyboard they're talking about right here. I think I already set the root note. Did I set the root note already? Hold on, let's let's drop another one there right quick. Let me see something. Just imagination. So let's say we got this sample in right here. Okay, you hold shift. So if you just do it like that, you want to set the root note, but. So 
Oh, you sit in there. Well, you can sit, you press all like that. Make, that only makes sense to say shift click to the keyboard. Shift click the keyboard to set root note. Okay, I guess I did it like I was doing it. I guess you have to already know where the note is at. That's what that's if you already know where the note is at, I guess. And you set it right here like that instead of going, you know. Cause if you press set right here, it's gonna tell you exactly where it's at, what what note we're dealing with. You know, so and that's it. I think that's the last one. Yeah, control commit in the waveform display to set loop point. Control command. Well, it's, I guess controlling uh, command is what I'm saying. What did it say it again? Control. Click in the waveform display to set loop point. Okay, control. Okay. You got double click. Okay. Gotcha. So I'm playing it. Okay, so it's shift. So if I get right here and double click, it's gonna already loop that whole area right here, just like that. It's gonna bring it in to the front. But yeah, that was just like a quick idea, man. If you know about it, jot down and say you know about it. If you didn't, just jot down and say you didn't know about it. Sometimes small things count. Small things make a difference, man. You'd be surprised. Sometimes what you find inside reason, man, even though it's the uh the windows and the options, there's not a lot of options in here, you know. It's not a lot, so you know it, we limited. You know, it's only so many things we could do videos about. But it seemed like every time you turn around, it's, it's some in in interesting that was right in front of your face. That was right there. Like, damn, I didn't know it can do that. This is YYBY. Peace.